come to that time on the Big Bad Station where we must speak to Stananishi, okay? He's joining us, okay? We're just going to be live and direct. And he's right here, right now, on the phone, ready to talk to us, okay, about his musical journey, what he's been getting up to, and so much more. So, of course, without further ado, please do say hello to the people. Greetings, <laughs> and to the world, and we're locked in and tuned in for the hour of Korea. Standing it's alive in living color. Definitely. And it's on, you know, big up all the fans, friends, and family, worldwide, continental, you see, Rasta love. Blessings for real. And of course, you know, let's start off by asking a little bit about Stananichi, a little bit about the name, where it comes from. How does that happen? Well, you know, well, during my school journey, I used to listen to a lot of uh, <coughs> Michael Rose song and Juna Reed and they always have this slang, say, Stan and Ichi, you know, yeah. so that slang always catchy to me, so during my school time and in class, I always I say, Stan and Ichi, Stan and Ichi, so my friends, them always are mad me and I say, Stan and Ichi, so gradually, that name just grew on to me, so I just... Okay. Take it and just travel with it and try it and just name myself in the musical journey that way, you know? For real, definitely. So, let's talk about that. Let's talk about how your musical journey began. How did it all start off? Well, from a tender age, you know, age 12, going to high school, listening to my friends and DJ in the community that I, re I grew in, also... Acknowledge my uncle, them because they love music, they sing and DJ. So, you know, gradually it was grow and I acknowledge them work and get inspiration from them also, you know. So, yeah. I just nurtured it and through the passage of time, I just capitalize on it and do what I have to do for make myself become perfection, you know. For real. Definitely. And, you know, what is your message in the music? Because there's so many artists out there. But what makes you different? Well, Stan and Itchy voice different message, positive and conscious, which the people them can relate it to. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I always sing against injustice, against my, what, what reaching my people, you know? Stan and Itchy is the voice of the people, you know? I always tell them good things to motivate them, you know? For real. That's about Stan and Itchy. Yeah, man, definitely. And you know, who influences you? Who kind of puts that spirit and the vibes into you? Well, all that I inspiration I get from the elder artists them coming up, like Bob Marley, Peter Touch, yeah. Garnet, Silk, Capitan, Cicela, Butch Bantan, Jack Cure, Butchman, all these artists, you know, mm -hmm. give me inspiration, you know. Mm -hmm. you see? And what is it about those particular artists that kind of inspire you? Well, they always come with positive message. Yeah. Where you can gravitate to and you see it's happening at the moment. I'm saying about the past, present and the future and you do see it happening. Yeah. In these times, you know. So they are a legend to me, they are a great inspirator to me, you know. Mm, you see it. Yeah. yeah. I find it interesting when an elder or somebody speaks of something and then it comes alive like it's just happened. You know, right. it's like the prophet just came through, <laughs> for real. Which is right, which is right. That's manifest, you know? Yeah, definitely. And, you know, I want to ask you about a song. It's called Ja Protect Me that you did on the Global Hit Rhythm. How did that come about? Well, you know, um, that song, but looking to the surrounding that I'm in and our social lives amongst friends, you know? Yeah. And see what friends can do to other friends mm. which a lot of people can relate to what i'm saying in that song it does give me that inspiration to do with that song you know and link up with global it's they give me that rhythm and they say they want me to do a song in it so it was so perfect sound so perfect to do that song in it so we just deliver it upon it and and it's a go you know yeah everyone just love it and gravitate into it you know definitely yeah i like the vibe on that tune Give thanks, give thanks. <laughs> yeah, for real. And, you know, tell the listeners some of the stages that you've been on and kind of like what you do to prepare yourself to go on a stage. Well, you know, 
always give praises to the most I can in everything I do, I don't left for the most I, you know. Yeah. So I keep rehearsing, I keep myself in tune, keep myself in practicing, you know. And I always keep physically fit and all these things, you know. Mm, for real. The reason why I ask that is because, you know, like I said to lots of different artists before that, we always see the kind of the front, as in like the glitz and the glamour, as they say, but we never really see like what goes on behind behind the stage, what the artist does. So that's why I ask you, because I know it's a lot of dedication, especially in music. Yeah, it takes hard work and dedication, you know. For real. You see, and music is a jealous thing. Mm. If you leave it, it leaves you. So you have dedicated yourself to it, and it dedicated self back to you yeah you know yes yeah. yeah, so i just one of them things that with music very jealous it's a very je jealous thing so yeah. i and i always keep on writing meditating practice on different rhythm jam and have different rhythm you know mm. to keep myself bubbling and going you know yeah for real and you know what's your favorite kind of rhythm that you like voicing your lyrics on well i love reggae reggae rhythm you know yeah um dance all beat a, a bit of alpha beat you know because you have different type of people out in the world while you're different type of music you know so yeah. i and i try to versatile myself on different type of rhythm you know but i mostly specialize in reggae mm. and dance you know because that's my culture that's what i brought up on yeah you know but i can put myself on different genre rhythm set speed you know versatile and weird you know for real. You know what? You might have to set yourself a challenge. Do one completely different, like a jazz one or a classical. What do you think? Yeah, man. I can <laughs> deliver on that too, you know. Okay. As I may say, I'm very versatile, you know. Yeah, for real. I look forward to that, man. I can and fit then... myself in different categories. I see it. Yeah. When, when, you, when you put them forward, you have to send them to me and I'll be like, look, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> all right you uh, i'll make you be the first one to get it okay okay you got it and of course what have you been getting up to in these times you know we've all been locked down we've had so much going on what have you been up to well at the moment you know i'm home doing some writing because at the moment i'm working and preparing myself to do our next new reggae album you know okay which we want to know with, with, with me and my producer in jamaica cool camera the voltage production so, just finished this project, this EP with It's After It's Record. So, I'm moving on now to the next album there, which we want to finish it up for April during those time, you know? Yeah, for real. So, that's, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm doing at the moment now, you know? So, mm -hmm. I keep myself occupied and mind occupied writing, meditating and singing and, you know, all in my whole composure and the music, you know? Definitely. You know, interact with my fans and on the social media and all these things, you know? Yeah, for real. You know, how do you kind of... I'm always interested as well in the artwork that comes with the different tunes. So, you know, the albums and the music that you've put out before, how do you decide what artwork's going to go with it? Well, you know, there's a new day, more time, new inspiration, you know? Yeah. And new atmosphere, that's how it flows in the car. More time I deal with it spiritually, physically, emotionally. That, that's how I deal with it at times, you know? Mm. So it does come in different formations. So one as me as the music is a jealous thing. So when it comes in the farm way there, it's come emotionally. I just sing it out emotionally. Yeah. All and notes say write it down, that it down, I uh, record it. And also I have it pattern that way, you know? Mm. Or if it comes physically way, we just do it that way. And no say I try to control it my own way, you know? Definitely, for with, real. All right, that's how it go more time, you know? Yeah. Because the inspiration come in high and low places, deep and so high at times. Mm. Okay. You know, are you in the UK at the moment or are you somewhere else in the world? Yeah, I'm in the UK, you know, okay. in Birmingham side, you know? Okay, okay. Early in town, yeah. I'm yeah. in the UK about three and a half years now, you know? Okay, blessed for that. And, you know, how are you finding the cold? Because it's windy tonight, isn't it? <laughs> it's so cold <laughs> for real really cold, you know? yeah but i don't know i would just protect myself keep myself 
in some good warm clothes when touching on the road and you know definitely to you, to worse in this pandemic time you know and protect mm, myself you know definitely you know what would you say you know we're up and coming now um and you want to get into the music business or you want to kind of start writing lyrics and yourself that's been doing that for a good while now what kind of advice could you give somebody who wants to come into this business well, the advice I would give the young artists that are coming up, just keep positive, be yourself, come with a conscious and positive message mm. for the younger generation to gravitate to. See? Yeah. Yeah, man, let's keep the lyrics them clean and energize the people their mind, heart and soul, you know? You see? Because where you're, where you're suing, I tell you, you know, if you send out a bad message in the future, your generation... I go read the bad food and I go good for you, you know. You go say, boy, sorry me to do that and all these things. So just keep it on a positive message. Definitely. You see? Yeah, for real. I agree with that one. And of course, you know, you spoke earlier about your album. But what else are you getting up to and what's next for yourself so that the listeners can keep a lookout for you? Well, you know, good and can just vibe for people, them, you know. As I may say. I always I sing positive message to uplift and elevate the people them, you know. You don't know because love song for the ladies them set speed. You don't know like urban song set speed, you know. Yeah. Maybe some touch of Afrobeat on it same way, you know, it's a mixture thing, you know. Okay, okay. It sounds like a good vibe. Everyone, you know? For real. It sounds like a good one. Yeah. And of course, how can people keep the link with you? So tell them your social media platforms so they can keep in touch. Okay, well, I can give them a phone number at the moment. Well, I don't know. The UK is 01144-746-5205729. That's my digit number, okay? okay? All right, you can find me on the Facebook now, Stananichi. S-T-A-N-N-A-N-I-T-T-C-H-I-E. Stananichi. Yeah. You can find me on the Facebook and you can find me on the Instagram also. You can find me as Tana Nietzsche. You can find me as Nietzsche underscore Stana. Nietzsche okay. underscore Stana. Okay. Stana Nietzsche on the Twitter set speed. Hmm. You can Google me set speed, Stana Nietzsche. All right. Check me out on the YouTube, Stana Nietzsche. You know, all yeah. digital platform. You just type in Stana Nietzsche. You can find my music. Yeah, everywhere. Platform. <laughs> You're everywhere. <laughs> yeah. For real. Global. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And of course, you know, hopefully when we come out of this pandemic, um, where would you like to go to? Is there anywhere you've got your eyes on? Yeah, I would like to um, tour down, you know, Germany, France, Africa, of course. That's yeah. My, that's, that, that's my main place I want to be, you know. Mm. Africa, Ghana, Can Kenya, Tanzania, you know. Yeah. I, I got a lot of fans over that side, you know. For you right. see. And you don't know America, England set set speed, you know. Definitely. Yeah. Caribbean, the Caribbean set speed, you know. Mm, for real. So would you be up for singing a little something for the listeners out there? Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> when you're ready. Respect and manners. Going out to all of the matters. Worldwide, you know, overall, you know. Give my mama a call, my mama. Don't you worry yourself anymore, no. Cause not longer poverty, not gonna knock down your door, no. Cause your purse and your bank book full up of money for sure. Hey, and the blessings are flow, me say more and more for sure. She said you... And you don't have a clue The struggles we've been through Hungry days we face them too Enough time the food no on the menu Enough clothes where we are never brand new The village of girl we up to Circumstances take us through Now the career I pursue Did you can say my mama Don't you worry yourself anymore no, cause I don't got poverty, I going to knock down my door. No, cause I'm Bruce on our bank book, full up of money for sure. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> yeah, man, for real. It was a nice vibe. And of course, you know, before we say goodbye for now, 
What kind of final thoughts would you like to say to the listeners out there? I want to say big up all of the fans that are locked in and tuned in, you know, and listen to Stan and it's alongside DJ Cat. It's a pleasure and it's on, you know. For yeah, real. man, I want to say, DJ Cat, I want to say big respect to you because you have been sending all of the young artists a um, message to the world, to the globe. I want to say big respect to you and the other work reader. See, it's an honor and it's a pleasure one more time. Big up yourself. See, Blessings. one and honors. I just want to say thank you to you as well, you know, for taking the time out to do the interview. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, man, respect. respect. Keep the link, yeah? Yeah, I will do that. See? All right, respect. bless up. <laughs> bless. <laughs> Easy. Yes, people, the great sounds of Stan and Nishi. Please do go and support him. Go and check him out, okay? Go and see what he's all about. He's got some great vibes. But right now, we're going to be playing a song that I mentioned earlier. It's called Ja Protect Me. Take a listen to this one. It's a nice vibe. Here we go. Uh, oh, Father. I'm asking, I'm begging. I'm praying to you. Ja, protect me from the enemy. Long time, they my enemy. 